This morning at 7.30, the latest on a pinpoint severe weather alert on this Friday. That slow-moving nor'easter is already in the region today. The storm's impacts being felt in Cranston this morning. Tree fell on some power lines in the area of Wilbur and Natick Avenue. Take a look now at the uh, waves along the shoreline in Narragansett. Things expected to get worse, especially along the coastline as the day goes on here, especially out on the Cape. Talking all morning about the possible wind gusts, 70 to 80 miles per hour out there on Cape Cod. So under a flood watch, high wind warning, coastal flood advisory along the Rhode Island coast. This is our Newport Harbor cam at 7.30 this morning. We do have a pinpoint weather team coverage for you all morning long. Julianne Lima is going to join us live again in Narragansett, uh, tracking the situation of the seawall. And Michaela McDonald, she's on the scene of where that tree came crashing down in Cranston. But first, here's Michelle with the very latest. Oh, more tree damage, power outages, flooding rainfall, all anticipated for today as we take a look at our nor'easter. This storm forming overnight and has been intensifying this morning. It's going to be a strong and a slow moving storm. And you can see the counterclockwise flow around the center of that low. Wintry weather over northern and western New England into the higher elevations of Connecticut and the northwestern part of the state there. For us, it's a driving, a wind swept rain and that will continue throughout the day today. That rain falling heavy enough to lead to street flooding and poor drainage flooding. Basement flooding, if you're prone to it, could be an issue with this storm. We're also watching for our rivers and streams. The Patuxet expected to see moderate flooding after today's rainfall. And we're also having to watch the Pocketuck and the Wood Rivers. Even the Blackstone River may near flood stage after these two to four inches of rain move through. Well, wind gusts frequently to 40 and on the high end we've been seeing some gusts between 45 and 50 miles per hour. Even Logan Airport up towards Boston has gusted over 50 miles per hour and the strongest winds they have yet to arrive. So people really noting the um, the crazy winds out there as they're saying and the strongest winds expected later in the morning throughout the night tonight with gusts 60 to 70 miles per hour leading to the power outages and wind damage flood watch in effect for the entire area. It's a flood warning already for the Patuxet. Again, we're expecting it to flood starting at the end of the day today. This is 830 in the evening and maybe flooding some minor to moderate flooding throughout the weekend. Flood advisory for the coastline. This has started already. First high tide of the morning uh, happening within the next half hour or so and a coastal flood warning for the eastern Massachusetts shore. The more significant coastal impacts will be felt in eastern Massachusetts. The winds will be driving towards the coastline there. They think about that northeast wind bringing the water towards the Massachusetts coastline and away from the Rhode Island shore. But we'll get battering waves and beach erosion, minor flooding during the high tide cycles today and potential moderate flooding tomorrow during the high tide. So it's a stormy day. Temperatures won't change much upper 30 to lower 40s and notice those winds sustain 25 to 35 miles per hour in the afternoon and evening with those gusts over 50. Full future cast is coming up. We'll walk you hour by hour through the day, but we want to head out to the roads right now and see what Melissa is tracking for pinpoint traffic. Well, some of the strong winds have been causing problems for MBTA commuters, just getting reports of some wind damage in Sharon, as well as in Braintree. If you're planning on taking public transportation today, a downed tree on the railway over there. So if you're heading out the door commuting along Route 6, this is right over by Dean Street, where we're seeing some stop and go traffic right now. This is heading east into Providence. West, you're looking good, and it's all due to a crash. There's a crash right over near Dean Street. So give yourself a few extra minutes. Right now, your average speed in that area is just 11 miles per hour. You can see it's taking you six minutes from the connector over to 95. If you're commuting in between Warwick and Providence, that's a 15 minute commute, nine minutes between the state line and 95 heading west. And here's where that crash is on our map. You can see more and more congestion heading into Providence, but right over near Dean Street, you can see you're backed up all the way to about uh, the 610 connector. That's where you're starting to pump your brakes. Just slow going. I'll have another look at your drive times and how this crash is affecting your commute coming up. Breaking news one, taking you to one trouble spot on the roads this morning. Mikhail McDonald live in Cranston now with more. 
That's right, Patrick. We are live here on Natick Avenue in Cranston near Canton Court. You can see behind me police are blocking off the road here all the way down to Wilbur Avenue. You can see there's a tree and a power pole, a utility pole that's down on some power lines. And there are some utility crews on the other side of that right now. You can see that pole just dangling across Natick Avenue right now. And uh, we've seen a lot of people try to come down this road. Uh, this is a, apparently a pretty popular spot for people to come through to get to uh, to get to the highway. So a lot of people have had to turn around. Definitely want to avoid this uh, this part of Natick Avenue if you are a Cranston driver and we, we uh, have seen um, as far as outages there are 120 customers in this part of Cranston that are currently without power we'll continue to track uh, this situation and also other trouble spots that pop up with this storm for you throughout the morning live in Cranston Michaela McDonald eyewitness news it is 736 and from the roadways now headed on to the coast to see how the winds and the surf have been picking up throughout this Friday morning. Hi, this is reporter Julian Lima has been in Narragansett for the last uh, three hours or so and certainly seen the weather conditions change down there. Yeah, the weather conditions are only changing for the worse. The ocean's starting to put on quite a show now as we approach high tide in just a few minutes. You can see the water washing up on the shore. The water's still very choppy. These waves are crashing against the seawall here and starting to spray us a little bit with that ocean spray. I just took a quick drive around the area, and this area is usually bustling with people out for an early morning jog or enjoying the views. That is not the case this morning. It is a ghost town. No one is out here. The winds are so strong, they're continuing to whip the rain side ways. You can see these waves just huge crashing up on shore. This parking lot is turning into a bit of a pond. The ground is completely soaked. I'm sloshing in water right now, even not in any divots. So again, conditions are only getting worse here. People are heeding the warnings, though we haven't seen anyone out on the water, which is good news as it is only going to get worse from here. For now, reporting live in Narragansett, I'm Julianne Lima, Eyewitness News.